Oh, hi again. Uh, I just thought I would show you my uh, solar panel array here that I put up. Uh, you can see I have oh eight solar panels. Uh, these are 370 watt panels I bought on eBay from a uh, <clears throat> I got a person who does uh, installations. They had some extras, and so I got a good deal. So uh, that's one way to just look around. Um, I wouldn't recommend used panels unless you're doing a ground system. They don't last as long. You, know, you can find some good deals on new ones. I think I paid about $175 for each one of these. And like I said, they're 370 watt panels. Um, you can see I mounted them on the house. I made up my own uh, aluminum brackets here. Um, I got that there. And then uh, if you can see it on the top there, I got a bracket up there. I put a little space between the house and the uh, the panels uh, just for airflow. And then uh, the ones up there, you can see I got them mounted flat. Now, people say, well, you got to angle them towards the sun. Well, you lose a little bit. Um, there's plenty of research out there that shows you don't lose a whole lot. Um, you want the ideal angle. These are pretty close to an ideal angle for winter time. Um, but I've had them in summer. They work just fine, too. So yeah, you can see here on this side too is some more of the uh, bracket setup. They do make brackets for these things. Uh, it's just cheaper for me. I use aluminum, and you'll want to uh, coat your uh, connectors if you have aluminum and steel, since the uh, panels are aluminum and the uh, <coughs> L brackets are aluminum, and the other they're little or the L channel I should say is aluminum. The uh, brackets are steel, so you want to put coating paint on them or something. To uh, protect them, and then you can see in there, I've got the uh, everything all wired up, uh, with, uh, the attached there, and then the wires too. I've got I made those up myself. Um, you want to use like a 10 gauge wire or so. Uh, you'll have to check. There's calculators out there, and then uh, you can put the connectors on the end, or they also have them too, where everything's all done up for you. It's just a plug and play type deal. Uh, since I know how to do a little basic wiring I did it myself saved quite a bit of money and then uh, this side I got an old sump pump tube I used to uh, hold put the wires in <clears throat> the reason I did that is because I had the connectors on before I uh, was able to fish them through because these were sitting here for a while and uh, <clears throat> so then I just I did that to get them through on the other side I'll show you that real quick here here you can see I just got the smaller conduit on this side I was able to uh, fish the wires through a tube so you want to fish the wires through your tube first before you uh, put the connectors on so that's what I did on this side so we got them all the way down there it just keeps everything nice and neat protects them from the weather um, you'll want to check with your codes in your local area <clears throat> I don't think I really have many uh, codes in regards to this but I just thought just for the extra protection and it makes it look a lot nicer and neater so this is the only one they have was this blue tubing I bought um, so that's uh, pretty much it here and I will uh, take you now into the uh, basement where I have the rest of this system and uh, show you where all the uh, magic happens. As you can see here my uh, meter is running backwards. You look at the bottom there those two dots. Normally they will go from left to right but you can see here they are going from right to left. And as we get to the end here of the sequence, you will see that it will flash an error message, meaning that the uh, meter is running backwards. So error should come right now. Error. So yeah, it shows my uh, system is working. Uh, meter is running backwards here. Alright, so here I am in the basement. You can see I've got the panels there on the wall, uh, right next to the water heater. And i got an outlet set up there. Uh, let's tell you a little bit about these panels. They are, uh, you can see the pa uh, solar panels are plugged into these inverter boxes here. Uh, i got four on each to uh, keep it level. Uh, I've got a, these are 1600 watt panels. Uh, I don't know if you can... See here, they are WVC, there we go, 1600 watt panels. 
Uh, you can buy these on Amazon or eBay, or you, I got these directly from Alibaba. Uh, they'll take a little longer to get to you, but come direct from China. So you <clears throat> save roughly 100 bucks each on each panel. Uh, same thing. So I pay more if you don't have to. Um, <clears throat> and then they come with the, uh, the cable connector on here. And what I had to do on this side is I wired up the uh, regular plug on here. They had a European style plug on there. So I just put a regular plug on there. There's uh, the ones I got, they had a diagram they showed which ones. So if you're handy with electronics or you know, know an electrician, they should be able to uh, do that pretty cheap for you. Now you'll see on this box, I got two wires coming out. What you'll want on that is because each side is 1600 watts. So that's roughly 10, 11, 12 amps, I'm thinking, off the top of my head. Oh no, actually more than that. Uh, 13, no, well, don't quote me on that, but it's roughly, it's close to the 15 amps. So I got two 15 amp uh, circuits running out. And then on this one too, I got the water heater plugged in. So what they do is I got that, and then that runs over here to my electrical panel. Now the reason why you want to do both sides or have two is you see there's two sides on the electrical panel. Basically what comes in, there's two main lines that come in here. One goes to one side, one goes to the other side, 120 volts on each side. So now when you got a circuit breaker like this, this is by the way the uh, circuit breaker I use for the uh, solar panels. There's one side will go to this side, and then the other side will go to the other side. So that balances it out. Now if you don't do that, and you got uh, a big system like mine, mine is about 3,000 watts, like I said, 1,500 watts each side. Uh, you'll unbalance your whole system, and that causes problems. And uh, it'll uh, <clears throat> dis dis uh, destabilize everything, is the word I'm looking for. So that's why you want to do that. Now, um, you go digging around in here, you, know, you won't probably want to get an electrician to help you out on that if you're going to do that. Or if you find two uh, outlets in your house, um, you can plug into both of those as long as they're on each different sides of the panel. So you'll have to figure that out. So I got this all set up. What you can do is you can run extension cords. Um, I was doing that for about a year or so. Everything worked just fine that way. I made sure I had one on each side of the panel. Um, so I'll take you back over here. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to tell you guys on these. Um, like I said, the system works great. And, um, oh, uh, the inverters. I got 1600 watt inverters. Now, a lot of times they will tell you to undersize your inverters. Uh, the reason why that light's flashing, by the way, it's just recalibrating. Um, I got a new box coming. This one kind of gets too hot for my liking. So um, it was outside, and I only had three panels hooked up to it, and so that kind of threw things off in there, I'm thinking. So it still works fine. I got an app on these. You can download an app, and it'll show you how everything's working. So uh, anyways, back to my sizing story. Now, they'll, they'll tell you just to undersize it for maximum efficiency. Well, electricity produces heat, and heat destroys electronics, of course. So what I did is these are about the right size. They're actually a little bit oversized, so so uh, 370 times 4 is uh, less, obviously less than 1,600. But these will put out, the panels will put out a little bit more than 370 in peak sunshine where everything's perfect, it's perfectly sunny. So I went a little bit bigger. You know, I go too much bigger. Uh, you want to do your own research on that too, but uh, just for a safety factor and the fact that they last make them last longer. So uh, that's just uh, the way I look at things based on my knowledge of electronics and and research there. So uh, hopefully this helps somebody who's uh, wanting to design a system. Yeah, I think so. Total, I got about twenty six hundred dollars into the whole system. Uh, I got the tax rebate from uh, last year, twenty twenty two. And then they extended it. I don't know what it is this year in 23. <clears throat> but I got a 30% tax credit. So it's um, figuring a payback period. I save anywhere between $25 and $50 a month. Summer, winter, sunny, cloudy days, whatever. Um, so I, I average roughly $30, $35, maybe $40 a month. I haven't really ran the numbers or taken the time to uh, calculate it all out. But uh, 
I'm guessing a roughly a three to five year payback period on everything. So it's a lot better uh, here where I live. It's typically seven to 10 years if you have one installed professionally. I'm like, okay, three to five years, I can handle it. You know, the system should last a good 20, 30 years uh, before the panels start going bad. So uh, like, uh, comment, uh, subscribe to my channel if you would, please. And uh, any questions or whatever, and I see them in the comments, so I'll uh, try to help you out. But there's plenty of others out there, plenty of research. I just thought I would show you my system here real quick. Thanks for watching.